Hi, I'm Roland Winbegler. Welcome to Cake Decorating at CakeSuppliesPlus.com. Nice to have you here. Okay, today what we're going to do is work with this impression mat of tool leather. And this is one of the products we have here at CakeSuppliesPlus.com. And this is a very durable impression mat. It'll last a long time. The modeling chocolate I'm using is Choco Pan, and it works very well. It, it takes a good impression. So uh, we also have a video on how to make your own. If you buy if you buy the pre-made, it's a little bit expensive, but uh, it work, works very well. Uh, again, if you make your own, it's a little less expensive, a little more time consuming, but uh, it works well also. And we do have a video on that. Okay, so our first step here is just to, to roll this out. now. Just with a good rolling pin, just spread it out to about oh, probably a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. Probably something like that. Now, our next step is to take the impression mat, place it over the modeling chocolate. And now this is important where you have to actually press down very firmly. You have to really kind of really push down to get a good, clean impression. And you end up with something like this. Now I've rolled out some white modeling chocolate here and we're going to uh, do the same thing here. Really press firmly. So you get that deep, nice impression. The nice thing about modeling chocolate, it, it holds its shape very well. You could do the same thing with fondant, but it's not gonna hold quite as well. So it's not gonna work quite as, uh, quite as cleanly and you're not gonna get quite as crisp of an outline or of a, an impression as you will with modeling chocolate. Next, we're gonna, we're gonna take our airbrush and add a little bit of brown food coloring. I'm using the coffee cake colors here. They work just fine. Now, what you wanna do is spray pretty much the whole surface, but we're gonna make, try to make sure we get into the crevices, all the crevices and such, so. can take a bit of paper towel and just gently gently uh, brush the surface to make this this nice texture like this looking very much like ma or very much like uh, very much like tool leather. That could be, you might make cowboy boots with this or a saddle or who knows what. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like just with the, uh, done with the white also here. So again, we'll use the same, we'll use the same uh, color. The brown, go over it with the brown.
And then with our, our paper towel again, we're going to just lightly brush the surface. We're going to get a little bit lighter look with this because the, the white modeling chocolate appearance will come on through then a little bit more. A little bit more vivid than at the other, but either way, you get a really nice effect. A little bit more there. So you get a real nice, so there's a, the difference, the difference being one a little bit more, a uh, little bit darker, one a little bit lighter. And that's all there is to it. Now there are other things you could make with the same method and we have uh, videos already online for this. And these are, this is uh, a tree bark effect. And uh, we also have, have the uh, impression mats for tree bark as well as wood grain. You see, you get a really nice wood grain effect with this. Also, you could, we have a, a mat for cobblestone. So any of these type of uh, effects you can do with these mats and they're very popular, work very well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and uh, thanks for joining us here at cakesupplysplus.com.